Hey, welcome to your daily joint prep. I'm gonna take you through the joint prep that I explained in the earlier video, but instead of explaining each one, I'm just going to flow through it with you. So without further ado, let's find your yoga mat, carpet, floor, and let's start with getting on top of those toes. Time is going to start in three, two, one. I'm gonna take you through 10 minutes through this flow. Now I'm gonna start here with the toes. If you want, you can lean back a little extra, or if it's too bad, you can go forward. 10 more seconds in this position. Again, if you need extra time, feel free, you can pause the video. And now drop the feet. You can pitter pat them on the floor. That helps sometimes loosen up those feet after being in that tough position. Again, from here, you can lean back if you want to get extra. If you're super flexible, you can come down to your elbows or even lay your back onto the ground. 10 seconds. If you want some extra time, you can go ahead and pause it. Now we're gonna go into child's pose. Widen those knees, stick those hands out in front of you. Forehead down to the ground. You can rotate to the left or the right. Hands, palms can be flat on the ground or thumbs can be pointing up, dependent on how it feels for you. Remember to continue to connect with the breath. Five seconds. Go ahead, come into that tabletop position. We're gonna go through some cat cows. Big breath in and exhale through. Last one. Now we're gonna go into that thoracic rotation. Hand goes in the center in between the knees, still hand underneath shoulder. Opposite hand is gonna go behind the head. We're gonna rotate in towards that elbow and then open up. I want you to go through five to 10 of these, breathing through. Big breath in. Last one. Go ahead and switch. And begin. Right. Now we're gonna come hands back down to the ground. And we're gonna go into that down dog. Shoot those hips high into the sky. Knees can be bent or extended. You can pedal through here. or are dropping that heel, feeling that stretch in the Achilles or calf. And go ahead, pull that left or right leg into that long Hurdle or stretch. If you want, you can drop that elbow down to the ground. And we're gonna go through the rotations.
last one. Now just kind of rotate side to side. You can sit back or move forward. Just open it up that hip. Come back into that down dog position here. Hips high to the ceiling. Switch sides and back into that hurdler stretch with a twist. Big breath when you reach up, exhale when you come down. Remember, if you need to, you can come back onto your hand and reach, or you can go from your elbow. one go ahead and stretch it out rotate those hips however it feels good for you now we're gonna go back into that down dog hips to the ceiling press that chest down towards the floor push those hands away from the body now go ahead and walk your feet to your hands. I'm gonna turn towards you. Come down into that yoga squat. Toes can be pointing out. If you need a heel lift, you can put something underneath your heels. That'll help you. Or you can grab onto something like a table or a chair. That'll help you stay in this position. From here, Go ahead and press those hands together if you're not holding onto a chair or some other object that's stable. Switch back of the hand, stretch those wrists. <laughs> Clasp those hands if you want, go through a couple rotations, clockwise, counterclockwise, press down towards the floor. And now go ahead and lock behind your head we're gonna exhale down and inhale up. Remember, pulling that chest up and those elbows away. Exhale. come into that rotation so we're gonna stay in that squat if you need to you can come out of it and stretch those hips or you can pause the video now we're gonna go into those rotations reach up big breath in then you'll exhale and switch to the other side Now we're gonna go into those bootstrappers, grab onto those feet, pull those hips up, feel that stretch in the hamstrings, and just back down. Just five of these. Go ahead and stand tall. We're gonna rotate through those hips. Big rotation, counterclockwise. You can do this as long as you want or as little as you want. Rotate those ankles. You can either do it on the floor or you can do it up in the air. Clockwise, counterclockwise, however many rotations that you need. 
Now we're gonna go into that extension, hands on the butt, pull those shoulder blades back, and reach back. You can stay in this position again as long as you want. You can pause the video or go ahead and rest. Okay, now from here we're gonna work on those shoulders. So just some big swings. And up and down fast. We're now gonna go into some rotations. Thumbs are gonna be down and we're gonna go forward. You can do this as many as you need to for your shoulders. Now flip the hands and we'll go backwards. Then we're gonna work some rotation in the neck, chin to shoulder, back and forth. And you're gonna go through 10 of these. Good, now we're gonna go forward and backwards. 10 of those. Now let's give some rotations. Five full rotations around. After you get to your fifth, you'll switch, rotate the opposite way. Nice, big, long stretches. No need to rush through this. Good, last part is that Jefferson curl. Chin is gonna come tucked to the chest then continue to roll. Bring yourself back up, slowly rolling through that spine if you want. Reach up overhead, big extension through, and then back down. Really think about this Jefferson curl, pulling that chin and keeping that crown of the head pointing towards the ground. If you want to, you can go through a couple more. If not, shake it out and that's it. So you can speed that up if you want or you can elongate it. You just move through it a little bit quicker than what we just went through. But if you joined me, I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.